there. Are you ready to learn some magic? As long as I live, I will never grow tired of this. I do not care. Mwah. Yo, what's up and welcome back. Now it's been a little while we haven't taught anything on this channel and I thought, hey, the time has finally come. Today, I'm gonna be teaching you something that I taught on my TV show, Big Trick Energy. This is a trick that Danny Garcia and myself came up with. Late night jam, we had to come up with something for the next day. Also, uh, I published this trick in Conundrum Magazine. If you guys don't know what Conundrum Magazine is, it is, well, it says in the back, magic is dead, print is too, so we made this magazine. It's printed by my friend Mark Trudell and his wife, Sufiane. It is probably the best magic magazine out there right now. It's super thick, it's super sturdy. We got a whole, whole section of me and the boys in there. Basically, each of us teach a trick. There's like a ton of tricks to learn from Ernest Eric, myself, Danny Garcia, Eric LeClaire, Rune Clan, Alex Boyer, and so on and so forth. Lots of cool tricks you can pick up, so if you want to support print magazine and magic magazines, check them out. I think these are not available until September. I'll leave the link to their uh, Instagram below. But today I'm gonna teach you a trick that I taught in here and that I performed on my TV show. So this trick is a freely selected signed card, returns to the pack, the spectator then takes the cards, throws them in the air, and the sticky hand, which can be inspected before, is then whipped. Catching in midair is if a card stab in the 1800s, but a modern version made from the dollar store. Uh, the card is caught in midair by this little sticky hand that everyone is familiar with. So I thought it was a really cool thing. And there's a few cool little subtleties that go along with this that I'm gonna walk you through. So check out the performance here. It's a bit grainy because I ripped it off the uh, web. I hope I don't get copyright struck for my own footage. Probably will. Watch it, we'll be back. you will need the following. One deck of cards. You can pick these ones up at our shop at first.shop, link below. One Sharpie marker, a hat or a beanie, which <laughs> coincidentally you can also find at first.shop. And finally, a sticky hand. Now you can pick these up at Amazon. They sell a whole bunch of them. All right, so first things first with this trick, you wanna learn how to do a control basically a card to pocket. And that's something I'm gonna be teaching on the channel as well, but I have taught a few of those controls on my channel already. We're gonna run through them briefly, but if you want a more in-depth video, I suggest you go down the rabbit hole and find whatever you're comfortable with. So if you don't mind, leave a like, subscribe, and let's get into learning uh, this trick. We've all played with these as kids. They are so much fun. You can grab cards with them. You can grab just things off the counter, money, whatever you want. Fun thing to do. See if I wanna grab a card right now. What does this look like? I mean, that's pretty cool. Now this trick is pretty fooling. So pay attention, you wanna do it right, because if done right, it can be extremely fooling and pretty much impromptu as long as you have one of these sticky hands on you. I suggest keeping them in the package and having the spectator open the package gives you some more, a bit of misdirection, which you'll need a bit later, but it isn't that complicated. Let's run through it. I don't have another spectator here with me today, so I'm just gonna kind of mime everything and just pretend I have friends, okay guys? All right, they will freely choose a card. So whatever card that is, we'll go here with the uh, Ace of Spades. Oh, nice. They're gonna write their name across that, okay? As soon as they do that, you're going to perform some type of control to allow the card to get in your left hand palm. Now the spectator is to my right, okay? I'm here, the spectator selects a card, they've selected the ace of spades, I will have them sign it. At this point, all I need to do is get this card into this hand down here. Down here, or here, or here, or however you want to hold the card. You're gonna take the card, now I like using the uh, diagonal palm shift. It's, it's such a nice move, it happens really quickly and it allows you to sort of hand out the deck so that they can give it a shuffle. Meanwhile, you can get ready. I'll run through briefly the diagonal palm shift, but I do have a video that you guys can check out, DPS for short. Once you're here, basically you're, you're kind of side jogging this card so that it protrudes a little bit here. 
your thumb on the top is going to pull down. Your pinky is going to kind of kind of pivot it that way. And then the rest of your hand is going to sort of pick it up and your hand just falls dead. In a quick succession, it can look like you just did nothing. And yet the card is in my palm. Now, if you're not comfortable with that, you can also bottom palm. So if you control this to the, uh, to the bottom of the deck, so what I did there is I just use a straddle pass. I don't know if I taught this before, but let me know. Um, so basically I'm doing this and kind of bending the card and placing it on the bottom, but under cover of the cards, it happens quite naturally. And once you're there again, you can go ahead and bottom palm and take that card away if you want. There's so many ways that you can do this. If you want to control it to the top. So let's say it's the ace of spades here and we've controlled it to the top. We're going to leave it in the middle. It's still up there, so it's just a different control that I used. Um, I can go ahead and do this if I want. Again, to my palm. I don't know if I keep fooling you repeatedly, but that looks pretty good on camera, not gonna lie. This here is a move that I taught as well, where it just goes into here. But when you're here, you don't really see anything. You're kind of using your ring finger, swiveling it around and kind of holding it this way. Now that can be used to go either way. I can go this way and keep it into cop or I can go this way and put it in here. Now that is my preference because from this angle, it is absolutely invisible. It is absolutely invisible. This is one of those things I came up with that I was so proud of because it can literally be burnt. You can actually see the moment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. So there's that, whatever you wanna do, get it into this hand. Once it's in this hand, hand out the deck to have it shuffled. So let's say you go with this control and you go here, can you hold on to this? Can you actually shuffle those cards? Do you know how to shuffle cards? Can you shuffle these? Now they believe that their card is in the middle of the deck. We know it's back here. So we're gonna hand that out to them. They're gonna give it a shuffle. Now, here is the tricky part. While they give it a shuffle, let me pan up. Oh, hello. Here's the tricky part. While they give it a shuffle, so you've done this, you've controlled it, we've got it in this hand, whether you wanna have it here or here. I prefer DPS, so it'll be in palm for me. At this point, they're gonna have it shuffled. You're simply gonna adjust your hat. A hat or a toque or a beanie or whatever you wanna call it. You want a yarmulke, you can do whatever you want. But the idea is, and I'll give you a, I'll give you a little sneak peek over here. While they're shuffling, I'm going to place this here and just kind of hold that there. Now this looks stupid from the back, but from the front and from this side, I mean, even from this side, it can pretty much be burnt. That card isn't going anywhere. In card magic, we call that a holdout. So you're kind of holding it out and waiting to use it. They have their card. I will say, all right, perfect. You've signed it, take this and go ahead and shuffle it. Now, the moment they look at these cards, their eyes are gonna go towards the cards and they're gonna hold it. And, and these aren't professional people shuffling. So they look at their hands while they're shuffling. So again, once you hand this out, all you're doing is sliding that in there and readjusting your hat. Now, it's as simple as that, uh, but to this angle, like you're the spectator, you're never gonna see that. You might get burned on this angle. You can put it a little bit more behind your head if you like. Once that is done, this is a really cool part. This is where you take out the toy. Now they shuffle the deck. You could say, I'll take the deck back. You take this. Now you're gonna give them this sort of packet. You ask them to open it. Once they've opened it, you can talk to them about this. You can be, are you familiar with this? And they go, yeah, yeah, I had these as, you know, when I was a kid and stuff. And, and uh, there's so much fun. And once you're here with the spectator, so you'd be the spectator, I'd say, um, let's try and let's try and catch a playing card with this. How cool would that be? They go, yeah. There's a phase that I did not put into uh, the video that you saw, but it's a cool phase because it sets up the premise really nicely. So you have the deck. They now have this. Ask them to slap the deck of cards. And it's a fun thing to do with them because it's super interactive and it's very childish. Uh, so they're gonna take this and you're just gonna hold the deck kind of loosely and allow them to eventually slap a card out. And it's so much fun for them to just aim and they're gonna miss and once they get it, they're like, oh, it's like a cool feeling of getting that card. So you go, cool, uh, let me try. Now you give them the deck of cards. You take this back and you're going to instruct them to throw the cards up in the air. Now, if they just throw the cards, they're gonna clunk up. So what you can do if you want is you can fan them out and give them the fan so they can hold kind of like that. Now, if they throw them up, the fan is gonna, there's gonna be cards everywhere. Or you can ask them to spring the cards, but most people don't know how to spring cards and it's not the time to learn. So what I like to do is just fan them out 
and say, hold out your hand, even two hands. Now they can hold two hands, they can have it like this. Now as soon as I throw this up in the air, these cards are going everywhere. So they have the cards, they are ready to be thrown up in the air. You have this, and you're gonna say, you know what, can you throw it, can you throw it right around here? And as you're sort of getting ready, and you're getting ready to sort of throw it up there, you're like, uh, right around here, right around here. And you're like, okay, and you're looking at this thing, and they've seen it, they've inspected it. All you have to do when you come back here, you're doing this, you're gonna slap it on there and come back down here and pretend you're aiming. How cool is that as a get ready? So you're here, you're like, boom, you slap it on. Now you're ready. As soon as they throw the cards up, all you have to do is that. Cards are being thrown in the air. And it absolutely unequivocally looks like you just plucked their selection out of thin air. One of the dopest tricks I've ever come up with, but again, not by myself. This was with the help of Danny Garcia, one of the most creative people I've ever met in my life and the most loving person. Check Danny Garcia out on Instagram, or this guy's just a genius. But me and him jammed on this, and this is, this is just one of my favorite things ever. I hope you guys uh, do it, and I hope you guys do it well. Let's run through the whole routine one more time just so that it's stuck in your head, okay? Pardon the pun. You'll be the spectator. Hey, nice to meet you. Do you wanna see something cool? Okay, awesome. Uh, what brings you here? Oh, how's the weather? Would you like a cheese sandwich? Whatever it is, please select a card. Oh, this one here, perfect. Doesn't have to, it's any card. Um, I have a marker here. Could you go ahead and sign this card? Boom. They've signed the card, perfect. Card control. We're gonna leave that card in the deck somewhere. Could you go ahead and give it a shuffle? Card control. They give it a shuffle. While they give it a shuffle, perfect. Yep, just go ahead, give it a shuffle. You're doing great. At this point, there's no heat, so much fun. You can do whatever you want. Card's no longer in the deck. It's controlled to a safe spot you have, a holdout, a secret holdout that this spectator will never, ever catch on to. It is done, the dirty work is done. I have one of these things. Have you ever seen one of these before? Oh, it's a little sticky hand. Yeah, I used to have these as a kid, perfect. Uh, here, could you, I'll take the cards. Could you go ahead and take them out of the wrapping? So you're holding the cards in plain sight. They take this out of the wrapping. Remember, it's important to hold those cards in plain sight because you don't want them to think that you're doing something fishy. You're just, you can put the cards down, whatever you want. They then take it out. You have them try and grab the top card. Over and over. Whoopa. Whoopa. Come on, come on. Whoop. Okay. okay. So much fun. Whoopa. Dude, how cool is that? Whoopa. They'll want to do this all day. There you go. Until they catch one. You're like, that's pretty good. Normally people don't catch it on their first try. That's really good. You mind if I try? Let me try. They go, okay, all right, but we're gonna make it a little bit harder because I'm a magician. I'm gonna try to find my card. But what I need you to do, it won't be on the top, obviously it's somewhere in the middle. Um, I'm gonna fan the cards out like this. I need you to hold them with two hands. And when I say go, you're gonna launch them up in the air and in midair, I'm gonna attempt to catch one. So you give them that, you take this. Remember again, you're deliberately showing that there's nothing on here. Yeah, right about here. So get ready. Yeah, throw it right about here, yeah. Ready? One, two, now I am ready. But from over here, he sees nothing. Nothing! One, two, three, boom. They throw the cards up, you found their selection. Bob's your uncle, Fran's your aunt, and that was the sticky hand card grab by Chris Ramsey and Daniel Garcia. If you guys enjoyed this, leave a like, subscribe. I really wanna know your thoughts. We're bringing back some tutorials, teach you some magic, talking magic as well. I'm actually headed to Spain. I was so inspired by uh, my time at FISM and I promised you guys magic content, but I don't just wanna sit here and give you tutorials. I wanna bring you along um, my journey. So I'm going to Spain for like a week to see Mario Lopez and friends and so many other cool magicians. I'll keep the surprises and it's gonna be a great time. We're gonna hang out and do some incredible, see some incredible magic and hopefully even teach something for you guys. So leave a like, subscribe. We'll see you on the next oh, one. Peace. Subscribe.